word nerd, so let's talk a little bit about writing rituals. Writing rituals can be weird and out there, like playwright and author Truman Capote, who claimed he was a horizontal author because he could only write while he was laying down. Or author Dan Brown, who's apparently discovered the cure for writer's block, which is hanging upside down? It doesn't have to be something that will get you kicked out of Starbucks. It can be something as simple as a mantra that you recite to yourself as soon as you sit down, or a warm cup of tea you keep beside you. So what is an author ritual, and what is it for exactly? When it comes right down to it, it's not some kind of weird, quirky habit or something romantic and authorly. It's simply something that you train your mind to recognize as the signal to sit down and go to work. Like Pavlov's dog who was conditioned to salivate at a certain sound that meant food, your mind knows that when you do this particular ritual, it's time to write. At least that's the hope, right? So what are my personal rituals? I have two. Number one and first and foremost is tea. I almost always have a cup of hot tea beside me. Usually it's black tea with a little bit of milk and I really cannot concentrate on writing without my caffeine. It's a great ritual because it has components of both being visual, obvious, got my little writer's monk here, as well as taste and smell. And anyone who has had a childhood memory, say, triggered by smell, knows how strong that can be. Now, if I was particularly smart, I would choose one tea that I wasn't allowed any other time except while I was writing. And I would make that tea a strong association, both the scent and taste of it, to mean this is my writing tea, this is my writing time. I haven't done that yet, both because I've been lazy and because I really, really like all of my teas that I drink and I would have a hard time picking one that I was only allowed to have when I was working. I just said, pick a certain tea, certain tea, <laughs> get it? Uh, tea puns. My second writing ritual, which is almost as important as my tea, is music. I listen to a lot of soundtracks and artists like Two Steps From Hell, all stuff that doesn't have any lyrics. And not only is music great for inspiration, but it's also great for creating rituals and associations. For example, with each specific manuscript that I start on, I have a different either style or soundtrack specifically of music that is only for that project. So for Witches of Ash and Ruin, while I was drafting it, I listened to a lot of the Harry Potter soundtracks and now as I'm editing it, every time I wanna get back into the mindset, I'm returning to Witches of Ash and Ruin, I'm editing this right now, that's what we're getting into. I put on the Harry Potter soundtrack and my brain knows it's go time. You'll notice that both of these rituals are very portable. I did have a third writing ritual, but since I write a lot at coffee shops, I don't light a candle anymore. I mean, Starbucks kind of frowns on that for some reason. I, something about a fire hazard, <laughs> stupid. What about you guys? Do you have writing rituals you use? And if so, what are they? Feel free to share in the comments below. Don't forget 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, the Warners have our live chats on Sundays and we would love to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.